The next question in this Python hackerang series is semantic difference. In this question, they have introduced us to a new functions uh, which we will be using with the sets. So the first one they have shown it over here is add. So with the help of add function, we can add the character inside or an or an element inside the set. With the help of update, we can update the element inside the sets. And also here down they have used discard and remove function. Uh, so this both function are used to remove a particular element or a character from a set. So here they have told us that the remove will raise a key error. Okay, so it will raise a key error when that particular element is not present in a set, whereas discard will not do so. So down over here they have used the union function. So it just returns the union of two sets which are A and B and similarly it is in case of intersection and indifference. So we'll take a look at sample input format. So the first line uh, contains integer m, the second line contains m separated okay so they have given us space separated numbers and down they have given us the input of n and okay so down also they have given us space separated numbers so we have to give the output of semantic difference so what basically semantic difference is i'll explain you with the help of a whiteboard as you can see here uh, there are two sets the first one is set a and set b so first we have calculated the difference so a dot difference b it means we have to calculate a minus b that is we just have to cancel out the elements uh, which are present in B and also in set A. So as you can see here, A dot difference B, it means that set A minus set B. So here as you can see in set A, the numbers are 2, 4, 5, 9, whereas in set B, the numbers are 2, 4, 11, 12. So we have to subtract the numbers or the elements from set A. Uh, it means that from uh, as you can see here in set B there is 2 and 4 and also in set A there is 2 and 4 so we are going to cancel out that 2 and 4 so from set A we are going to cancel them and as you can see further there are 5 and 9 so these are the unique elements and these elements are not present in set B so we are not going to subtract them or we are going and we are not going to cancel them but we are going to return them as a answer as you can see here the difference is 9 comma 5 whereas in the reverse case b dot difference a will return us 11 comma 12 what it will do it will calculate b minus a that is it will just cancel out the terms 2 and 4 and it will return us 11 and 12 so it will give us 11 comma 12 and the symmetric difference is the union of these two sets as I have shown it over here so it is union of these two sets so we'll move ahead and we'll code so so the concept of this question will be more clear to you further so first things first we have to take input of this four and this space separated numbers for that will require variable a comma b is equal to and we want to convert them into integer we are now taking the input and now we are going to take the input of this second variable here input dot split okay so down over here we are going to take the input of this two lines that is 4 and this 2 4 11 12 so for that we'll require two different variables we'll consider it as c comma d and here also same thing will be there so i'll just copy it and i'll paste it over here okay, so down what we have to do we just have to convert uh, this space separated numbers which we have taken from the user to set so first we'll write x is equal to set and we have to simply pass this first variable which is b so it will convert that numbers which are stored in b to sets so same thing we'll do it for 
D also. Okay. So now what we have to do, as I have told you, we have to calculate this difference. So for that we'll write P is equal to Y dot difference. And we have to pass X in it and down over here we have to calculate the difference for x so q is equal to x dot difference and we have to pass y in it and down we have to calculate the union of this two newly created sets that is p and q so for that we'll write r is equal to p dot union q so it will create the union of two sets p and q and it will store that result under this variable r and now we are going to print that r but here the condition is that we have to print them in ascending order and also one per line that is in this way we have to print it on one on separate line so for that we are going to write print and inside that we will be using slash n so it is it will help us to take the output control to a next line so slash n and now with the help of join function we are going to join sorted set uh, so for in for that function we have to pass two parameters r and we'll pass key as integer okay so so we'll run the code and we'll check the output yes it is working and now we'll check it for rest of the test cases yes it is working for rest of the test cases also the solution for all other questions including this series are available on my channel